What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be sharing a lot of the information that has so far been announced that has to do with NHL's newest expansion team, which is going to be in Seattle. So I do have the article up in front of me right here. I'm going to be leaving it linked down below so you can check out the article for yourself. But this is only stuff that has been announced right now. I'm sure I'll be doing an updated video later on whenever they start adding more stuff. But let's just get into today's video. So Seattle is going to be the NHL's 32nd team and they're going to begin playing in the 2021-22 season. So there is a lot of time for everything to be announced and everything shared with the public. So the commissioner has stated, Today is an exciting historic day for our league as we expand into one of North America's most innovative, beautiful, and fastest growing cities. And we are thrilled that Seattle, a city with proud hockey history that includes being the home for the first American team ever to win the Stanley Cup, is finally joining the NHL. What the commissioner is referring to here is the Stanley Cup champions from 1917, which was the Seattle Metropolitans. The ownership group led by majority stakeholder Dave Bonderman, Hollywood producer Jerry Bruckheim and CEO Todd Luik. I'm probably butchered all their names, but uh, they will pay a $650 million U.S. expansion fee. By comparison, the Vegas Golden Knights paid $500 million fee two years ago. The team will begin playing in the 2021-22 season. The Seattle ownership group had hopes for being ready for 2020. But with an $800 million renovation to the key arena, now there is a quote for Brookheim here. It says that we wanted to have it ready for 2020, but we had to push it back one more year because it is not fair to the fans or the players to not have a 100% finished arena when they start. Which to me, I can honestly see, nobody wants to go to an arena that is not finished. They don't want to have all kinds of construction going on whenever they're at the start of the season and they're starting to be a team. So for me, that makes sense why they had to push it back one more year. Seattle submitted its application for the expansion back in February and said they already secured more than 30,000 deposits for season tickets. So now it talks about the conferences being evened up. It says uh, what the Seattle franchise will do is add a 16th team to the Western Conference, matching the number in the East. So to me, that makes sense to have it even like that anyways. Now that there's 32, having 16 in the Western, 16 in the East, makes sense to me at least. And it also says in this article that they are going to have the same expansion rules as Vegas. So in March, NHL Deputy Commissioner Bill Dolly confirmed that the potential Seattle expansion franchise would be subject to the same exact expansion draft rules as the Golden Knights and will take place in 2021. Teams will have two options when it comes to protecting players who may be added to the new Seattle team. Either they can have seven forwards, three defensemen, and one goalie, or eight total skaters and one goalie. So if a team has a lot of top-end defensemen, it might be better for them to choose the second option, but they lose having one pick. Myself, I would choose the first option if I was a team owner. That's just me. Players with no movement clauses will be protected automatically, while any first or second year pros and all unsigned draft choices will be not eligible for drafted by Seattle. In October, Bateman confirmed that Vegas will be exempt from the draft, meaning Seattle will have to choose one player from the NHL's other 30 teams. So this is the only thing in the entire article that does not make any sense to me. By the time the next expansion draft happens, Vegas will be in the league for five years. Maybe they only want Seattle to have 30 people chosen, but for me, when Vegas is going to be in the league for five years at the time for the expansion draft, why are they being exempt? Every other team is going to be losing a player. Why not Vegas? Why is Vegas exempt from it? But this is everything that they have announced so far. So I will leave this linked down below so you guys can check out this article as well. Now the Seattle team is not going to be starting until 2021. So by then I'm sure they're going to have a lot more information on this. So if there's any information that comes out soon, I will be giving you guys an updated video and sharing anything else that I find 
with you guys. I hope they announce a little bit more soon and I hope they do update some more things as well. I'd love to do another updated video and share more information with you guys. But I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.